Here's Alex's trajectory across the slope. He's working left to right, working up around the corner here. And by the tracks up above on the upper right, you can see this area has been hit before and there were no signs of instability. So this kind of looked like a good place, a good option for them. And as he turned around the corner, his partner said they watched the tail end of his track wash out and they watched him deploy his airbag. So they knew he had been like caught an avalanche. So they're like, oh, dang, that, that just happened. Now they had to respond. So one thing I can say about this is from this picture, what do you think the slope angle is on this slope right here that we can see in profile? When we measure that slope angle, it's above 30 degrees. 30 to 45 degrees is the slope angle where most slab avalanches happen. So we can recognize avalanche terrain by slope angle. And that's something we can look back in hindsight and say, wow, um, that is avalanche terrain. Is that recognizable at 20 miles an hour on a snowmobile? It's tougher. It's a lot tougher. So the challenge for us is actually the read and run. How do we spot this stuff on the fly? And if we have a, something to learn from this avalanche accident, this is one of the things. It's learning to read and run terrain.